So today we're taking a look at my solar air heater. This is a bigger and more improved version of the build that I posted a short on a couple of weeks ago where I got like a 60 degree temperature gain. So uh, let's check this out. I know that a lot of my viewers for this kind of project are in other countries, so I'll describe how you can do this with less common materials. So basically I've got a frame of one by six wood. You could use cardboard if that's all you had. And then underneath is a piece of pink foam insulation to uh, isolate the tubing from the ground. Again, you could use cardboard if you absolutely had to. There's variants of this that use uh, Coke or beer cans with the bottoms cut off and all taped together. And that just seems like a crazy amount of work. This is four inch dryer vent tubing. Um, I managed to find a vendor on Amazon who sells this in 40 foot lengths. So the frame that you're seeing is about three feet wide by about five feet long. Okay? On the side, I have a four inch dryer vent to 120 mil millimeter case fan adapter that I have a uh, four inch CPU fan attached to. This is a fairly low powered fan because it's just helping circulate the air. Technically, this would work without any sort of fan at all based on convection, but uh, for this setup, we're just going to have a little fan pushing the air around. And then finally, I'm going to put a piece of plastic over the top to create the greenhouse. I'm actually going to use a shower curtain because they're durable, you know, they're thicker material and they're clear. You could use a plastic uh, painter's tarp, but they're, in my experiment, they're very, very, very fragile. And then I've got a double stick tape around the outside to provide a, a bit of a seal. So let's put the top on and I'll plug the battery in and I'll show you how this thing works. Also on the inside above the pink foam is a My Mylar space blanket, provides uh, reflectivity going up and also insulation from the ground. Okay, so we've got a pretty decent seal around the outside. We're showing uh, 106 over on the intake end and 88 uh, over here on the other end. And as soon as I plug in a battery, that's gonna shift dramatically and then we're gonna let this thing cook. So for the test, I'm using this little 12 volt, uh, 12 amp hour, uh, lithium ion battery, you could easily run this thing on solar. And now immediately the air temperature on the intake side is dropping. We went from 104 down to 100 and the output temperature over here is climbing rapidly. We're 96, 98, 100 degrees and climbing. So they're gonna stabilize and then the system will kick in. So uh, we'll come back in 30 minutes or so and see what happens. This is about 11 o'clock. We'll see you in a few. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Eighty six coming in and a hundred and thirty five coming out. Oh, yeah. So there's the probe. And I think we've pretty well stabilized at about one thirty five. So is that a fifty degree differential? <laughs> and here's a close up. As you can see, I didn't do a great job of painting the tubing black. I was kind of in a rush, but just the air hitting this and creating a little greenhouse effect inside there gives me a 50 degree delta. That is amazing. So to recap, I've got 40 feet of four inch dryer vent pipe. I was spray painted black in a little enclosure with pink foam on the bottom and a plastic sheet over the top to make a little greenhouse. I have like a 100 CFM 4-inch case fan on the side just pushing the air through and I've got a 50 degree uh, delta temperature delta in like 
20 minutes. All right, so if you didn't have access to these things, how could you make this cheaper? You could use um, a, a plastic trash bag as the cover, as long as it's clear. You could use a painter's drop cloth. They're like a dollar at Home Depot. They're just really, 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 really fragile. Um, in my testing, if you breathe on it, they rip apart. Um, also, when I built the frame, I made the pla the pink foam flush with the frame, and it should have been underneath like this, so that way the frame was thermally isolated from the ground. So the pink foam should have been all the way underneath instead of perpendicular like that. So how would you use this? This is not going to heat your house. This is absolutely not going to heat your house. If you had a... Uh, hunting stand you know it's like under 100 square feet you could run the vent uh, down to the bottom and uh, suck the, the cold air out and replace it um, you know the power draw on this little fan is like 100 or 200 milliamps so you can run on a battery forever run on solar forever um, in a full-scale experiment i would have a continuous loop instead of sucking air from the outside I would have one pipe on the top, one pipe on the bottom, creating a continuous heating loop. So on that note, coming very soon uh, is full-size experiments for these things. I've got a friend who's letting me borrow a corner of his property, and we're putting a structure out there so we can test these things kind of in a, in a reasonable size scale. So if you like these kind of off-grid uh, energy experiments, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification because I got a lot of really cool stuff coming soon. Thanks, everybody. Catch you on the next one.